Oh, fellas. First question. Being called a nice guy when trying to be a player. Well, Robert, that means you're still projecting nice guy energy. Uh, let's see. I'm a player in training. I just had a date with a woman who I've met online. I took her to a coffee date and listened to her life story. Asked a lot of questions like you teach, but, I, but trying to kiss her already seemed too fast for me. And since I didn't know how well she is into me, at this moment I decided to wait to see what the next date, date will bring. And that's what a nice guy would think. A nice guy acts from fear. A player doesn't act from fear. Do you see the difference, Robert? You acted like a nice guy. You, you reacted like a nice guy. Uh, you got afraid to kiss her. And you got you justified by all these thoughts you got in your head. A player just goes on and does it. And the woman follows suit. Okay? At the end of our date, she said I was nice and sympathetic guy. That that comment distressed me. And play, and nice guys get distressed. Guys like you get distressed when girls say, say stuff like that. You start overthinking stuff. Stop doing the feminine thing because let the woman overthink stuff. Okay? Uh, because I want to come across as a bad boy with women. <clears throat> then during their conversation, you should be teasing her. You know, talk a little bit of shit to her. A little bit of shit talking, a little bit of teasing. And you got to figure out how, how to adjust yourself. There is no set. Like one guy on my site wants to know, do I do it all the time? I think it's I, I tease all the time. You find what works. You fine tune it. Okay. Did women also call you a nice guy for listening to her life story back at the game? No, not at all. Or being called a nice guy, or is being called a nice guy always a bad sign? Nice equals weak in the game, okay? Uh, sympathetic. And it sounded like you were overly into, you know, did you break down and start crying if she said something sad or something? It's like you were over into it. Uh, I listen to their story, and I take an interest in it, and I ask more questions. I give them to elaborate on stuff. But uh, when, I say, when I ask, you know, I don't come across like a nice guy. Jovina, yes. when I was talking to you the first time we were at that bar, uh, did I come across like a nice guy? No. No. So you got to kill the nice guy in you. You can't just put on a player like a suit. Okay, because what's inside is going to keep come smelling out. If you're a nice guy inside, then you got to change the way you are inside here. Okay, how do you do that? Because I know that's your next question. Try being more relaxed and try to have a good time and try to be a little bit more joking with her. All right. Um, when I say get a life story, I don't mean get it all in one session. There's a series of steps there. You want to listen to her babble on. I hate to say it like that. I really do take an interest in their story. But you want to listen to her talk for, for about 45 minutes to an hour. Then you want to start, you know, going in for other stuff. You want to change the subject to my animal color water game. All right? And that's where I segue into sex. You know, get, being able to tease her a little bit more. Okay? So about, after about 45 minutes, you know, say, hey, let's play a quick game. Uh, what's your favorite color? She answers three questions. What's your favorite animal? Three three answers that too also. Uh, what's your favorite body of water? And three answers. Then you go back and read, okay, well, the color describes your inner personality. The animal describes your outer personality. And the color describes where you make whoopee. Is that really true? Do you really like, like, waterfalls? Because they're loud and... Yeah. Is that really true? You a screamer? Okay. All right. Next one. Afraid to lose it and phone sex. Hey, player. One, afraid to lose it. I had this problem two years ago. I had a girlfriend for 1.5 years. And we had a lot of sex, and it was great. But then we broke up now, and I haven't had sex in two years. Why not? Can you see me? You've been listening to me for a long time. Why haven't you had sex? If you've been listening to me for a long time, can you see me? Why haven't you had sex in a long time? I want to answer that question also. Because just when I'm about to put it in, here's the answer. I lose it because I get too nervous for some reason. Okay, I can't fix your mental problems. Those you got to fix yourself. Okay. When, it gets, when it gets badly enough, it'll, it, you, you'll get it, keep it hard. All right, stop whacking off, though. Stop whacking off. 
when you self satisfy, it is not you won't allow yourself to get in that that state that you need need to be in. It's important that you guys really stop whacking off. Really, in my new product I, I got coming out, I tell you to whack off, but stop before you come. It's like just like I learned to do. That gives you incredible control. Okay, but for you, can you see me? Don't uh, allow yourself to to come. If you're doing my new product, do not allow yourself to come. Uh, I think I said, you know, after seven times, then allow yourself to release. Don't allow yourself to release. You need to build it up because right now you've been probably self-satisfying a lot and you don't have any real drive anymore. You have the drive of a typical nerd, which is low drive. Regular guys, they got it. We got to have the pussy. It's like a driving need. Okay? So we're not going to get all fucked up in the head. Allow ourselves to get fucked up in the head. Okay? We're going to stick our dick in that pussy. So stop thinking about stuff. Stop whacking off. Let's see, I've rejected 8 to 15 team lays because I'm afraid I will lose it and make them disappointed. Okay. That's your answer to that one. Two, phone sex. I have... By the way, you got to stop this creepy, weird shit you're doing to your dick. you got to fuck yourself up for life. You don't quit knock this shit out, too. All right? Let's can the nerd goober shit of, of fucking your mind up, okay, can you see me, and get back into being a man. Handle the, handle the dick, fuck the pussy. Phone sex. I've always been weary, or uh, weary, good, weary, good. Do you mean very good, V-E-R-Y instead of W-H-E-R-Y? Very good at phone sex and make girls come by the phone. Does this mean I have great potential to be great in bed? If you could talk to them in bed, like I teach in my product, that means, and you do the other stuff I talk about, that means you're going to be good, okay? Think back when you're, you and your girl were having sex. Think about if you were good at talking to her then, that skill's going to come forward with the other girls. So you're basically depriving them of good sex just because you got a little fucked up in the head over your last girlfriend like a, a woman does. Women get fucked up with the last boyfriends. Us guys, regular guys, we step forward to get a new bitch and be fucking the, the next day or next week. That's the way we handle shit. Okay? I had to fight my way into the normal world, so now I'm one of the normal guys. Books to read. What are some good books? Self-development. Damn. You know, I really can't answer that question. I've got tons of books out there. I would suggest you go to, to uh, I want you to join the Warrior Forum, okay, Mark? Because that's where the internet marketers meet. It's free to join. And uh, uh, start reading some of the posts over there because you're going to get a real good, fast education on business and marketing over there. That's what I suggest you do. All right, Player or Zen Mac? I messed this one up. Player Supreme, I've been listening to what your channel I've been listening to what your channel and to what your channel okay you when you guys mistype stuff you make me sound like an idiot there Nick Ellis let me get a tie on you <laughs> the banana <laughs> anyway I've been listening <laughs> to you to your channel and bought some of, of your things uh, for a while now I don't listen like I used to because I just don't have time. That's the kind of man I want to see all of you guys become. I want to see you get so busy in your lives that you don't have time to you know, spend it searching all through YouTube. Because I can tell you I search through, through YouTube. You come here to my channel, then you go to other people's channels, you go to the PUA stuff, you go here, you go there. Find one and stick with it and make it work for you. Then get so good at it that you don't have to come back here. I'm out there working, playing a sport, and lately getting back to trying to investing into women. Getting back? Are you saying you haven't been fucking like a man does, Nick Ellis? To be honest, I haven't been f playing the fucking game. It's been more of a looking for a good girl and dating. Okay. That answers that question. Okay. So you're looking for a good girl, you want to settle down. I, I I can respect that. I guess I put it that way because I could fuck a lot of these little whores running around the club. 
The thing is, I've been hung up on girl I met last weekend, danced, talked to. So one of my guys got his mind pimped. Is that what you tell me, Nick Ellis? That you've got all the skill and suddenly this girl pimps your mind as if you have no skill? That doesn't seem very congruent here. Okay. I talked to her nightly and took her to a nice to a nice fancy restaurant Friday night. She liked it. I bought a rose for Valentine and chocolate. She bought me cupcakes. <laughs> Take some of these, you'll be all right. You still in a nice zone. Nice guys need the aspirin. Pop the top <laughs> for the hell you're now in, Nick Ellis. Because I'm going to need it after reading all this shit you sent me. Okay, hope this gets better. Then we went back to her place. Ah, oh, getting better. Good. I'm thinking, okay, I don't know what's going to happen. You should know what's ha going to happen because you're the leader. Maybe she just wants to, you're being the bitch, being led by her, huh? Just wants to talk. Maybe to get laid. Okay, your job is to make sure you get laid. To push the envelope. Do you see what you're doing? You act like a little bitch there, Nick Ellis. Nick Ellis, are you a bitch? If I come in your house and just slap the shit out of you and tell you give me your shoes, you give me your shoes? Huh? Then don't act like a bitch. Okay? You want me a bitch ass, long ass, <laughs> tale of woe? I hope this ain't a tale of woe. You better have a good ending to me having to read this shit. I hate sappy shit. Okay, where was I, fellas? I gotta get through this shit. All right. Maybe I was right more. Maybe I was right more of a nice girl. I was flirting and we were talking, laughing. Why weren't you kissing her? If you had, if you had my music, you could have put my music on. You'd know where you'd be, where you should be. Plus, it would got her in the mood. Then I leaned in and kissed her. She pulled away. Then I said, "That's it." And she kissed me. Pulled away. Fast forward 30 minutes or so later. We ended the date. I should have talked some shit then, but it didn't feel right. She didn't. She did not want to fuck. Maybe breath stank. I don't know. I can't tell. I talked a little while. You know, if you've been drinking, your breath probably stank. If you, hopefully you put a stick of gum in your mouth, not a mint. That is, gum lasts longer. You guys, you're sucking on mints. Nah. Get a good. Get some good gum up in there. I fuck with gum in my mouth, by the way. I'll take a little chip of it, keep a little chip of my mouth in the back. All right. But it didn't feel right. I need some violin music for this shit. Like she didn't want to fuck. I talked a little... Well, then I left. I set up something for the next day. It was canceled that day. She said she was sick. She apologized. I wonder if she got the same feeling I get sometimes. You know, a sickly feeling. I text back some shit wondering if she was still interested. Then said that the next time I see her, I want to change something I did from last time. I didn't tell her what. Turning down some aggressiveness. Why in the fuck would you want to turn down? You actually need more. Okay? In the area of, of your inner thinking. You know, maybe she wants to have say, maybe. If I'm going to the business place, I, I, I assume we're going to be fucking. So when I walk in the door, I, I'm kissing. I didn't sit there talking. She invited me to a goddamn crib. What else the fuck she want? She wants some of this good black dick is what she want. 
That's okay, whatever. whatever. She wanted to know, and I tried to call. So I went out to a club. Guess who I see? Yep, her. I saw her and waved, and I, I just ignored her. But eventually, after about 20 minutes, slightly annoyed in a calm voice, of course she did. You did the female thing. Because she didn't come up to you. She saw you. She didn't come up to you. You went feminine and went up to her. Again, Nick Ellis, if I came in your house and I bitch slapped you, you going to shine my shoes? Because that's basically what you're doing here. Go up to shine her shoes. Let her know you're all upset. I went up behind her. Shouldn't have did that. Of course not. On the dance floor and asked, I thought you were sick. Oh, God. We talked. She said she was. Blah, blah. And I said, stupidly, I thought you were a good girl. She said, I am. I just went out with some friends. I said, ah, okay. Well, you blew that one. I don't want to mess your fun up. I asked her for a dance later. She said, okay. She don't want to dance with you. You, you busted her. She's embarrassed also. Why do you want to just, just, you know, make it look bad and drive it in? Come on, man. You have more, more class than that, please. I wouldn't dance with the bitch later on. If I saw her in that situation, something like that ever happened to me, fuck you, bitch. I don't want nothing to do with you. You told me you were sick, you out. Fuck you. Get to stepping. I said, you look kind of lonely. Sure. Because I never saw her dancing with dudes, just her Korean girlfriends. She said no and pulled away and went to the other side of the dance floor with friends. Sup Supreme. This right here was several key mistakes rolled into one I made. I'm learning. I'm 22. Got a lot of things going for me. Uh, as career, body build, trying to go back to school, ambitions. In one way, being a man to me is striving to be as self-sufficient as I can in all areas. Yes. And in this case, emotional. But I mean, even sometimes, I guess we all got to reach out and take a hit. If that's what you believe. I don't believe that, but if that's what you believe. I don't want you to have to reach out and take a hit just and use that as an excuse. You know, I want you to control yourself act like a man next time. Conduct yourself like a man. A man saw his, his, the bitch was kissing the night before because they want to have sex out at the club. That means there's something wrong with you. I don't know how you met this girl. Obviously, she was not choosing. So you listen to my show. So you're one of them ho chasers. So you got to remember it's a numbers game. She played you for a, you know, she's, was she Asian? She played you for some dinner, something like that. It didn't work out. She didn't, wasn't feeling it. It's got to be about chemistry with women, okay? It's just chemistry. And if it's not there, if it was there, she would have not wanted to go out with her girlfriends. It would be what you would have been more important, okay? Instead of having to lie to you. So that shows you the beginning of what, sh what was going to happen to you. There will be some other uh, white dude she was, you know, seeing. This type of girl, she won't date her own race. Also. If she's Korean. All right. So I'm coming to you out outside my fr friend zone for a little more credit slash intellect insight. Well, how about I just reach through this internet and just bitch slap you, brother. Knock you clean the fuck across the room and tell you be a man next time. Okay? Step off, find another bitch. This bitch ain't worth your time. Okay? And I'm sure your uncle, other than going to my uncle and being called a dumbass, I guess I just called you that too, kind of. I need to get a grip. Yeah, get your mind back, brother. Get your mind in order. Look at things from my perspective, and you'll see what I'm talking about, which I may need a little LOL later. Or a friend telling me some general shit and just erase it completely. Why would you want to... Okay, i got to ask you a question. I want you to answer this question for me. Why would you ever want to have anything to do with a lying, conniving-ass bitch? She lied to you. You, I hope you ain't so stupid you believe that she was actually sick. 
When girls are sick, they don't go to the clubs. You should know that, being a 22-year-old man. You should know that. When they're sick, they stay at home. So obviously, you should be in smart of see that she ain't feeling you. Chalk it up to the game, okay? It's a numbers game when you hold chase. That's why I can't understand why, why people can't accept that in this community. When you're going to do the cold approaching, you see a, an, you're a Caucasian dude, you see an Asian girl you like, you step up to her before she even gives you a glance and, you know, spit your game, you get a date. You know, you do it over and over again until you get a date. Then you go out and you expect to get laid. And she, uh, she gives it a try for some kissing because she invited you over. She feel, doesn't feel it. And boom, you guys can't give up. What, what, what's not to understand here? She didn't feel it. She tried it. She didn't feel it. You didn't have what she wants, more than likely. Okay? Because she's out with, with the girls next day. If, you, if it was that good for her, okay, she would have been with you the next day. She also would have been with you, with you that night. All right? Don't get it twisted. She would have had sex with you that night. For the right man, she will fucking bend over and stick her ass up in the air. But just not you. So you got to get that into your head. It's just not you. Okay? She can pimp you out later on for dates and string you out. And even, uh, I've seen guys even get married to these kind of girls. Like uh, the GIs. You know, they're airmen, in other words. And they, they, get, they get fucked over so bad. They get fucked over. Her ex-roommate. She used white dudes like toilet paper. She was a little tiny petite Filipino girl with a body and, and guys like that little girl look you know that little tiny girl thing for some reason so like I said feel like big man or something I don't know I don't want no little tiny girls myself that's not my, my thing but she, she she just pimped these motherfuckers out and she wouldn't date a black dude she, she said I won't date a black dude unless it was that one black guy on TV with the blue eyes on CSI one of them damn shows but it's because he had money and he's famous. But, hey, chalk up to the game, brother. He goes, hey, get over it. Get some pussy next week or next week. Yeah, that's A. That's where you need, you know you need to go. Okay, you know what I was going to say. You know I'm going to support some bullshit like this. Come on. That's why you wrote me. B, apologize. Apologize for what? See, maybe you should have been listening to my shows more often. Okay? And growing your balls out. Because every one of my players on the show know you should not be apologized. You didn't do anything wrong. You haven't done a goddamn thing wrong from what you've written here. What, unless you, um, I don't know, when she's walking, you, you stuck your tongue up her ass and goose her or something while she's going up the stairs. I don't know. Uh, C, make my money, pray a little, and get ready for a big fight sport event in March. I don't know about the sport event in March, but I go for definitely a get over it. All right. I guess now I need to join your site on your website, huh? It wouldn't hurt. So I got some players on there that will help straighten your ass out. Oh, man, you wrecked me that one more thing. I'm still trying to get this girl to be a girlfriend, or at least on my team. That feeling has not left yet. Nick Ellis. That feeling is called goddamn stupidity. All right? Take a dump. It'll be gone. Still haven't gotten over, which is my option A. Get some more pussy is my remedy. Do you get riled up over one bitch, did Nick Ellis? If you do, you're not made to be a player. You're, you're a good guy. So go find a decent girl, a real good girl, and leave these Asian chicks alone if you're a Caucasian dude. Quit messing with, with, with these Asian chicks. Let me see who the fuck you are, man. Ah. Strawberry blonde white dude, huh? Okay, well... Maybe just don't mess with that Asian girl. I recant what I said about leave these Asian chicks alone. Uh, you're not a bad looking guy. You know, you got a 
jawbone there, you know. There are white girls that like, you know, square jawbone men. In fact, a lot of them do, brother. You know. Anyway, I guess that's our show for today. I'm through counseling Nick here. <sighs> Anyone else want to step up to the land of stupidity and show me how stupid you can be in your life? Let me know. <laughs>